So you want, want to put your horse on those tracks. And uh, you also want to put yourself on those tracks. And you can think that your, um, your seat bones are on those tracks. Hello and welcome to my channel and welcome to this new video. So today we are finally going to talk about how to turn your horse or how to steer your horse. Uh, that's really one of the main things really about riding to get the horse to go where you want to go. Uh, so today we're going to talk about that. This is the question. What is the most important thing when turning your horse? I suppose you're going to say it's your seat and uh, that's of course true. But actually the most important thing is knowing where you want to go. Uh, I've been uh, teaching riding for a long time and you would think that this is like, uh, this is obvious, but it's really not because I find that people really are not thinking about where they are going and where they want the horse to go when they are riding, especially when they are riding in the arena. And uh, they're maybe a little bit too much focused on what to do with your hands and what to do with your legs. But it's really all about that uh, goal that you have in mind, that destination and your body and uh, your seat and your weight. So when you know and when you imagine the path where you want to go, then the horse will know too, or at least has the better chance to know where you want him to go. And uh, when you think about it, then your body also has the chance to arrange itself accordingly. So then you don't have to maybe do that much with your seat, um, with your hands and with your legs. So it's all about your seat and your hands and legs are there only to support. Uh, so today we are going to talk about how to turn the horse and also some typical mistakes that uh, riders make when trying to turn the horse. Uh, of course when we are riding the horse and when we are turning and making for example circles then we are also or most of the time we also want to bend the horse. However, in this video, I'm not going to concentrate on bending. We are just going to keep it as simple as possible and uh, just talk about the turning. So what I want you to do is I want you to imagine um, like train tracks in front of you. So you want, want to put your horse on those tracks and uh, you also want to put yourself on those tracks and you can think that your, um, your seat bones are on those tracks. So when you are going to turn, your tracks are turning, then you are turning ac according to those tracks. So you're not turning like too much like this or you're not turning like this because then you're going to get off the tracks. So you want to turn just as much as um, as your curve is. So it's like if you would be just uh, just um, walking without a horse. So you would be just uh, walking uh, on the like in on the ground. Then you're not going to turn like this or turn to the other way or like lean into the uh, turn or anything like that because those are very typical mistakes that riders make. They're going to go like this or turn uh, all these kinds of ways, but uh, that's only going to confuse the horse. And often also your uh, weight might go to the outside. So then the horse is going to go to the outside. And then if I'm trying to tell the horse to turn to the inside with my uh, rein, for example, and my leg, then the horse is just going to be very confused and uh, won't know what to do. So that's why the seat is the most important thing when we are ste uh, steering the horse. And uh, then the, uh, the rein aids and the leg aids are only going to support your turn. So now let's talk about them. So now when I want to turn to the left, I'm first going to imagine my train tracks. 
And then if I need to, I use a little bit my outside leg. So my outside leg comes close to the horse. And then I might open my uh, inside rein just a little bit. But it's very, very important that we don't pull back from the inside rein. Because this is also a very uh, typical mistake that riders pull back from the inside rein. And then they leave the outside rein loose. So then the horse is only going to turn, turn its head, but often they just go the other way. So that's why we need to support the turn from the outside. So we have our outside leg uh, close to the horse. So when we're turning, it comes closer to the horse. We might want to keep the outside leg a little bit back if the horse has the tendency to swing the hindquarters out of the turn. And then you also want to keep the contact with your outside rein. So you don't want to just throw it, throw it away, but you don't want to pull from it either. But it's there to support and keep the horse straight so uh, they don't turn their head too much. And, uh, but allow, allow a little bit of the bend, of course. So the most important thing is to keep yourself uh, centered and balanced through the turn. So that's really the first thing. So I forgot to talk about inside leg. So your inside leg is on uh, its own place, uh, close to the girth, and it's going to uh, keep the horse moving forward. So it's just there and you use it if you need to. But, uh, and then if the horse still doesn't want to turn, you might enhance your outside, the, the aid with your outside leg a little bit and maybe keep your outside rein a little bit more firmly. But the first thing is always to check your seat because if your weight is on the, on the outside, uh, then the horse most likely is not going to turn. So first, just check your own seat. So I guess that's it for today. And uh, I hope this video was helpful for you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.